examination colon, MRI of the lumbar spine. Sentara radiologist Dr. John O'Neill looks for signs of disease every day by peering inside the human body, but he never picks up a scalpel. Advanced imaging technology helps him pinpoint health problems, sometimes right down to the millimeter. It's revolutionizing the way doctors work. You think about CAT scan imaging or CT, which has been around for over 30 years now. Uh, think about MRI, and that's become a household term as well. Everybody's had an MRI, it seems like, and that's been in clinical use for over 20 years. But as the manufacturers continue to develop uh, faster products, uh, better products, uh, say better coil design with MRI, and uh, flat out scanner speed enables us to change applications over time. So we can do things now that we just didn't even think about doing in the past. Here is a view exploring a patient's colon. The images are produced through a non-invasive scan based on CT or computed tomography technology. As we're kind of streaming through the intestine here, and then if we see something of interest, like maybe coming up around the corner here, boom. We see something here that shouldn't be there. Another kind of scan, an MRI, details images of the breast. But this just simply was not possible a few years back. Magnetic resonance technology uses radiation that's different from a CT's X-ray based technology combined with powerful magnets. It's more akin to a microwave oven if you want to think about it that way. So when the tissue is pulsed and anybody who's had an MRI knows that it sounds like a jackhammer. And that jackhammer sound is the sound of the tissue being pulsed and essentially the protons in your tissue being aligned in a certain direction and knocked out of alignment and then there's a listening period that goes on and that's uh, it kind of in a nutshell how MRI images are created. One of the newest technologies, a PET scan or positron emission tomography, gives doctors a metabolic picture of the tissues. The technology is being combined with CT scanning to make it easier to pinpoint the location of any cancerous or inflamed tissue that may light up on the screen. So you're talking about being able to detect things before there are any anatomic changes or shape changes. For example, being able to see cancer spread to a lymph node before the lymph node changes on CT. Plus, as doctors sort through thousands of these highly detailed images, computer-assisted diagnosis, or CAD, helps them double-check their analysis. Computer-aided detection is simply taking the images, uh, running them through a processor which enables a computer to analyze the images, and the computer will then mark certain areas of concern. High-tech equipment is making it faster and easier to find out what's wrong, but it takes more than machines. Markedly degenerative disc with fatty infiltration of the adjacent end plates, period. Technology advances have occurred at a breakneck pace recently, certainly in imaging, and will continue to occur. Uh, however, none of it's any good without the interpretation. It's Sentara's team of dedicated specialists that makes getting a scan more meaningful. This is Dale Gauding reporting.